I watch these shows to waste time, but the content usually goes through one ear and out the next, but today this caught my interest. Now, we're going to focus to start off. Look how Nick says Genie Bus's name under his breath. Like he didn't he didn't want to boldly say it. And I think that 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 pretty much says that he himself was afraid to mention her name in this context. I'm going to go to ownership. Genie Bus. Genie Bus. Now, focus your attention to Chris Broussard's reaction of when he realizes exactly what Nick Wright was getting at. He was shocked and visibly uncomfortable and probably terrified and really did not want to be right there at that moment You're on my as edition it was happening. Of the bug list. You are my addition to the bug list. Here's the deal. We've seen this story in sports and in business. Hundred edition of the bug list. You are my addition to the bug list. Here's the deal. We've seen this story in sports and in business. Hundred. Oh yeah. To add to that, just for 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 Pete's sake, let's let's look at like the faces that's on this backdrop. All right. I'm not big on football or baseball, so forget those two players. Sorry for any football and baseball fans that might look at this video. But let's look at Doc Rivers. Have we ever seen them have a problem of criticizing Doc Rivers for anything? Have we seen them have a problem criticizing Kevin Durant? Zion Williamson, they call him fat, out of, out of shape, injury prone. Uh, David Griffin... They don't like how they how he's how they've been putting kid gloves on Zion and how he's handled stuff. There there's been criticism put out on everyone, but and probably the baseball and football guys too. If I was more <clears throat> educated on that stuff, but Genie Bus, I, I mean I I commend Nick for actually saying anything. Of times, the patriarch or matriarch of a family builds a business, passes it down to the kids, and they run it into the ground. Nobody wants to say it because Genie Bus is friends with everybody. Now, if you've watched any of these shows, you really, you, know, you would know, like, this entire cast is usually very expressive and playful, regardless of whether they agree with the speaker saying or not. They're just having fun with these topics. But for this topic, while Nick is talking, all the rest of these faces, all these talking heads are just stone face, quiet and expressionless. Or if there's any expression that can be taken, is just straight up terror. And Nick says, nobody wants to talk about it because Genie Bus is friends with everyone. I wonder if it's just that or if it runs deeper than that. And I'll get into what those potentially those things could potentially be later in this video but for now this is what we'll digest and this what I feel is the saddest part of the entire segment is Wilds tries very very poorly to deflect the blame away from Jamie Whereas, I will say this, players definitely should be held accountable for what they do or do not do. Whereas, own the, the management and owners and up, everyone else has a job to do. And everyone should be criticized for how they do their jobs. Like the players, they gotta play. You're criticized based on how you play. And then management should be criticized based on who they chose to put into positions who they chose to be the coach, who they chose to be the players. And if that doesn't work, then that kind of poorly re reflects on them. And then even further up, the ownership should be criticized for who they choose to be the manager, to put everything else in place. If anything, if, if the end product is bad, then starting from what's on the floor all the way up should have some criticism. But And these guys... They don't have a problem criticizing anyone. They don't. They don't. They don't care about criticizing LeBron, AD, the coach, even Rob Palenka. But go all the way to the head of the snake, and all of a sudden it's a problem. Like, 
Chris is drinking whatever is in his cup, even if, if there's anything. Everyone's just afraid of this topic right now. And I hope we get to the bottom of why. Now, initially, I talked about this with a few people. And I got one answer that I wasn't expecting. And, alright, I'll just start off with that. Some Someone suggested that it's because she is a woman. <laughs> and criticizing women in sports is a no-no. And initially I thought that was a stupid thought. But it, it actually has some merit to it. Because... As hard as I think about it, I really can't think of women in this space being criticized too much. There's, when it comes to women in sports, there's two stories I could think of. But I'll focus on the one that pertains to the NBA. In the NBA, a couple of years back, Chris Paul criticized a female referee for her play calling on our ability as a referee in general and it became a big controversial story and people were saying that Chris Paul was anti-women referees and he didn't want he felt like women shouldn't referee the game when if memory serves he said nothing of the sort he signaled her out as an individual with a referee uniform and a referee <laughs> profession as and criticize her in his opinion that she wasn't cut out for the job not because she was a woman just based on her performance just based on her performance not based on her gender but everyone was spinning it and made, made Chris Paul the bad guy so so when I really think about it, it, it does kind of have some credence. Is it because she's a woman? Okay, now, that potential issue aside, my first initial reaction was, is it because of the amount of money she has? When you have a lot of money, you have a lot of control. And I don't know the range of her reach. I don't know the reach of her pockets. I don't, I don't know. But... Perhaps a lot of people in this in this sports space, in one form or fashion that I cannot see with my own eyes, have some kind of financial, uh, what's the word? Like they depend on her, or something that she controls, and that that fattens their pockets, or or something. Maybe, I don't know, that's my speculation, but when I think about the woman part, that might have more credence, or at least more evidence that I actually know of to back it up. Now, I'll kind of end here, but I do want to say before I end that I went and searched Twitter to see if anyone was talking about this segment, and I found, and I realized that like two days ago, Stephen A. was pretty open in a criticism for for Jeannie Buss on something that he did. And there was Jill and Rose present and Mike Wilbon and whatnot. You can look it up. I'm not going to post a video. But none of them seem to have the, the same level of feared reactions as people on this cast. Perhaps, I don't know, maybe maybe her reach, if it's a reach thing, spreads throughout the Fox network more than it does ESPN. Maybe. I don't know. Just a guy looking at the talking heads. And I'm signing off with that. I wanna go home.